it is just so unideal to use different products together at once or imagine you're using Nivea, you're using Vaseline, you're using um, Dove, you're mixing it together, you're using it on your skin. Hi guys, welcome back to another skincare video. It's still your favorite girl Choma here. If you just come to our channel for the first time, you're so so welcome, okay? And right here on this channel, we do we do everything: skincare tips, product reviews, and DIYs. Trust me, this is a channel that you'll be wanting to find out, okay? do well to hit the like and subscribe button to be part of this amazing family so guys in today's video i'm going to be listing out 10 common skincare mistakes that we should avoid right now in order for us to have that perfect smooth and glowy skin because it's not just about getting expensive skincare products and at the end of the day the same thing that you've been trying to tackle with is what you are still getting you keep on getting the same repeated results so do not click away okay stay tuned to the end of this video so you're gonna take notes of everything that i'm going to be listening one out. common mistake is using different products all together at once why will you be using different skincare products on your face all at once for example i'm using these three skincare products on my face at the same time at the same time it is going to ruin your skin so they work differently because the same ingredients used to create these are different so it is just so unideal to use different products together at once or imagine you're using Nivea, you're using Vaseline, you're using um, Dove, you're mixing it together, you're using it on your skin. I'm so sorry it's because you will definitely not see the results of what the lotion promises to give you on your skin if the lotion is going to light you up i'm sorry you might not really see that likely instead it's going to irritate your skin so stop using different products together at once use them gradually use them one step at a time it is best that you use just one product on your skin and that is what you are using and you will see the result you can be able to say okay this is what i use that is working for me so that is the first common mistake but the second mistake is exfoliating too often in as much as i know that yes you want to get rid of the dead skin cells that you have on your skin exfoliating too often is going to make your skin weak and make you prone to redness make you prone to redness and could cause inflammation and irritate your skin if you're an acne prone skin it's going to make your acne get worsen okay so please stop exfoliating too often it's okay to exfoliate twice in a week it's okay to exfoliate three times in a week it is okay to do that okay so stop exfoliating too often the number three mistake is ignoring signs of dehydration you don't find the need to hydrate your skin you know you have a dry dull flaky skin and you do not really find the need to do that or you just feel like okay it's okay it is not okay because over time your skin is going to begin to itch you you start aging faster so do not ignore the signs of dehydration another mistake we make is not drinking enough water this one too is connected to ignoring the signs of dehydration people who actually drink the most water tend to boost their elasticity of their skin and they hardly have any signs of fine lines or aging so when you don't drink water you are not supporting your collagen production water is an essential tool it should be added to your skincare routine like whenever you wake up in the morning you drink water you wash your face and you go in that order water is very 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 important so you've not been drinking water you are making a huge mistake by not doing that and you want to get rid of fine lines i'm sorry no amount of cream that you apply on your skin would help to give you a very good result if you are not drinking or you're not taking rightly or if you keep on making this mistake so please ensure that you are drinking this one right here is applying skincare in the wrong order <laughs> when you apply your skincare in the wrong order you are not going to get the effectiveness of that product that you're using you're using it wrongly instead it could actually irritate your skin 
and you'll be like okay this product is not working but no you are not applying it in the wrong in the right order you want to make sure that you are applying your skincare in the right order ignoring makeup remover ignoring makeup remover after applying makeup on your face you do not find the need to wash off why are you doing that to your skin why do you want to clock up your pores why do you want to cause a congestion on your skin and you start breaking out proficiously you start having acne and pimples so please make sure that you after applying your makeup you do not go to bed without washing up your face okay seventh skincare mistake is using harsh products avoid using harsh products and products that usually have harsh harsh products are you know most of all these um lightening products or whitening products that are not dermatologically tested or clinically approved for you to use on your skin they are harsh because they end up exposing your skin to um varicose veins stretch marks dark spots sunburn they cause a whole lot of damage on your skin so avoid using harsh products okay if you actually want to lighten up your skin or take your skin like a shade or two shades lighter than your usual your your complexion if you use a very very good product a very very good skincare product and you are staying away from these mistakes in no time you're going to be amused as a kind of result that you are going to get from your skin the number eight is this one you'll be like really this can actually affect your skin yes not getting enough sleep why won't you be getting enough sleep no matter how busy or no matter how tedious your work is not getting enough sleep is it's bad at least we want to make sure that you have eight hours of sleep a day we want to make sure that you have like eight hours of sleep in a day when you don't have enough sleep that is when you start having puffy eyes dark circles swelling even your skin is going to look stretched your skin is going to look dull you are not going to look refreshed and rejuvenated yes so make sure you get enough sleep okay that is number eight the number ninth one is poor diet if you've been following me for a while now, you know there's a common thing that I usually say, you are what you eat. Whatever you eat inside shows out on the outside of your skin. So the skincare that we just apply on our body is not really doing so much. It's just doing like a minor work already. It's just trying to reinforce and, you know, to make what we are using on our skin, what we are taking to, you know, for we to get that effectiveness and that boost it just gives the boost but whatever you eat is what reflects on the outside you want to make sure that you are staying away from highly processed foods highly processed foods and sugary foods highly processed foods like you take not taking excess um, chocolate sugar or or drinks or some kind of sugary drinks not you know what I mean by highly processed foods, burger. I'm not saying you shouldn't have um, eat those things, but you should reduce the intake of those things. Especially if you're an acne prone skin person. If you're an acne prone skin and you have an oily skin or you are always into highly processed food, no matter what you use on your skin. If you like, use a skincare product of 200K. Your skin is going to be like that, okay? You are not going to have that total clear skin free from acne and pimples make sure you actually have good diet take good supplements that will actually help to rejuvenate your skin and give you a beautiful skin okay do more of fruits do more vegetables so the number 10 the final one the last on our list is touching your face all the time you just have small pimples you're touching it you're not lying into rest you have small acne you want to pop 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 why are you always popping leave it alone why are you always touching your skin you know our hands are exposed to a whole lot of germs and bacteria so whatever you touch is being transferred on your face and made what these things major, majorly cause is acne and pimples and breakouts and breakouts definitely lead to dark spots and hyperpigmentation so avoid touching your face all the time so guys these are the 10 common skincare mistakes to avoid if you want to actually have that perfect skin that glowing skin endeavor 
to avoid these mistakes especially number one number ten in short all of them should be avoided all of them is what we should actually look into but number one i'm emphasizing number one because we make that mistake a whole lot of people i see a lot of people like you are having you are getting like six body lotions for just one body these are the 10 common skincare mistakes to avoid if you actually want to have that perfect and glowy skin and about to make sure that you take note of these things okay and in no time you begin to see the skincare products you are using even your supplements that you're taking begin to work very very effectively if you have any other skincare mistakes that that you know that i did not mention do well to come down to the comment section and put it down in your comment or if you want me to talk about any other thing do well to come to the comment section and leave it in the comments thank you guys so much for joining me today if you watched up to this point and you've not liked and subscribed what are you waiting for do well to hit the like and subscribe button right now it's a way of saying thank you now this information right here to us and here and also check out our previous videos okay so guys that will be all for today's video thank you guys once again and until then i'll see you guys in my next one bye